Hi, I'm Jennifer. Um, we are at Max's Bar and Grill in Long Branch, New Jersey, formerly known as Max's Famous Hot Dogs. We have been in business uh, going on 93 years on the Jersey Shore. Um, I am making this video to ask for help um, to keep this business going. I have a good buddy of mine who's holding my phone right now and trying to uh, help me create this. Hopefully I do a good job. Um, I want to just tell you a little bit about the business. Um, we've been in Long Branch, like I said, going on 93 years. We started um, on the boardwalk, which if you follow me, I can show you some pictures of what Max's used to look like. We have a mural here of our history. And my friend is gonna kind of get the mural and show you some of what we once used to look like. This was back in the um, 60s and 70s on the boardwalk. We've been very, very lucky that we've had very um, famous people come to our restaurant and eat at our restaurant over the years. We've had a wall, you could say, of famous uh, people that have dined with us, governors and senators, um, James Gandolfini, the late James Gandolfini, John Stewart, uh, Bruce Springsteen has been a regular um, off and on over the years, um, Brian Williams, who is local to New Jersey, uh, Bob Bafford, who is a famous horse trainer, who is very friendly with my grandmother, um, is a huge fan of our restaurant. In fact, uh, he has a tradition where he eats a Max's hot dog before he runs his race, the Haskell at Mama Grace Track, and proceeds to win, and it's become a tradition of his over the years. In 2017, 2018, we decided to renovate the, the restaurant with hopes of going year round because we had always been a seasonal business. We did renovate. Of course, it took much longer than we had hoped, but with uh, the renovations and then of course COVID happening, financially, we just have not been able to catch up. I um, took over the business uh, a few years ago. My dad passed away in 2013 and um, I took over the restaurant with hopes of making it better than ever. Unfortunately, as you can see, if you walk with me now, it is 5.30 on a Saturday night and I have no customers. Actually, I have one great customer. He's a very loyal supporter, this gentleman, and he, uh, he comes in regularly and gets takeout for me. But as you can see, the dining area here, um, if you walk with me, it's empty. I've had to restructure the bar area, um, take away the bar seating because we are no longer allowed to have bar stools at, this, at the bar. So we've kind of done an alternative and put our bar tables up against the bar with hopes of that attracting people to want to sit there. Uh, we know other restaurants have done the same thing um, in the area. But here we are on a Saturday night. I'm not sure how much longer I can survive. Like I said in the beginning of the video, we're going on 93 years and we are truly a landmark on the Jersey Shore. We have a lot of supportive customers, people that love this place, that have stories that I can't even begin to tell you, that they tell me, that they come in and share with me. Um, currently, right now, I'm running only with four employees. I have one front of the house that I alternate between her and one other um, person that comes in and they take turns working. I have two line cooks um, that help me do everything from cooking the food to helping me clean up at night to helping me with the inventory to making sure that I have things taken care of. This picture over here was my grandfather. If you want to follow me, this is my mom, oh. Madeline. She's also Hello. part of the history. Hello. Um, nice to see you. 
But this was my grandfather who started the restaurant. And this is what, um, you know, it, as far back as it goes. You know, we've been part of the Jersey Shore and the Long Branch community since 1928. We are just hoping and praying that we can continue and, and keep business open. I'm a single mom. I have three small children. And everything that I do is for them. Everything that this restaurant brings in has to cover not only the expenses here at the restaurant, but the expenses of my life. And it's been very, very, very hard. Um, I'm not sure how much longer we can survive. I hope that I can get the help that I need. I think that what you're doing and, um, and helping so many businesses is so unbelievable. Whether or not I get chosen for help or for funding, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed, I'm appreciative either way. And, you know, I just, I don't know. I'm just trying to hold on and do the best that we can here. So I want to thank you very much for your time and your consideration. I don't know if you know about Max's hot dogs, but we've been around for a very long time. And restaurants like ours are a dying breed. I hope, I hope to still be here. Thank you.